Hey, a bit of Stephen, that old Yorkshire geek, and a bit of sci-fi news, as you might expect, uh, about Forbidden Planet, the uh, classic 1956 movie from MGM, is going to get a remake, uh, according to uh, Deadline. Forbidden Planet, set by Warner Brothers, Brian K. Vaughan writing, Emma Watts producing, revisionist version of Touchstone 1956 sci-fi pick. So let's have a read of this article. But before we start, don't forget, like and subscribe, share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell if you subscribed already. We've just crossed a 1,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you to everybody out there who subscribed. Uh, but if you want to do more, you can join the channel, become a member, or you can throw me some super thanks and stuff like that in my general direction. It will be greatly appreciated. Uh, you can also explore the description. Where's my finger? There it is. You can also explore the description uh, for links for merch and Patreon and stuff like that. Me books. Oh, they're here somewhere. Here they are. There you go. Me books, which are available on Amazon, Kindle and paperback. Just a bit of fun. One's a big, thick one. One's a little, thin one. <laughs> one's a horror one. One's a sci-fi. But anyway... Right, so let's have a read of this article. I'm sure I forgot something. Whatever. Right, let's have a read. Right, so there it is. Um, from Deadline, as I said, Forbidden Planet, set by Warner Brothers, Brian K. Vaughan writing, Emma Watts producing, revisionist version of Touchstone 1956 sci-fi pick, Mike Fleming Jr. reporting. Uh, Brian K. Vaughan's famous for, he wrote episodes of Lost, uh, he's wrote, written comic books that why... It, why the last man which i know nothing about it got made into a, a short-lived tv series didn't it uh, which i didn't see um what else has he done uh, uh ex machina as well uh, i think he did a comic a comic version of that i don't know if that was the same ex machina that were made into the film i don't know but anyway uh, that's all i know about him and that's only because i've looked him up <laughs> emma watts the name rung a bell uh she produced irobot and um, uh, something else. Um, Alita Battle Angel, she produced. They're the most famous thing she's produced. So, so they were good. I enjoyed both of those. But anyway, let's have a read. Uh, there's pictures. Right, exclusive, says Deadline. Warner Brothers has made the deal to mount a new version of the 1956 science fiction classic Forbidden Planet. The film will be written by comic book and screenwriter Brian K. Vaughan, and it will be produced by Emma Watts. No don't say who's directing or anything. For its forward-thinking themes, the film is considered a North Star for science fiction writing and cinema that came after it. Um, it essentially, it was Star Trek before Star Trek. Really. Um, it's, uh, you know, an amazing film. I think we've done it on um, um, Magnificent Mondays uh, way back when, I think. Um, right, uh, it has never had a big screen remake, though James Cameron reportedly once considered it, partly because the rights were complicated and difficult to untangle. The studio and Watts finally got that major obstacle out of the way. The former studio chief Watts has leaned into producing the big ambitious tent poles she shepherded from the executive suites, uh, and this has the makings to be one of those. But it was an MGM film. So how come Warner Brothers has, has managed to get their hands on it? You'd think it'd be Amazon, wouldn't you? They own MGM now. As I said, the rights complicated and difficult to untangle. Right, loosely based on Shakespeare's The Tempest, which I think everybody knows um, that you know that it's based on that. Um, Forbidden Planet is set in the 23rd century. The Tempest are about people on a end up on an island with Prospero and. Um, other people. Um, <laughs> um, Forbidden Planet is set in the 23rd century, uh, much like Star Trek, oddly enough, uh, where the Starship C, the original series, where the Starship C-57D arrives at the distant planet Altair 4 to solve the mystery of what happened to another Starship, the Bellerophon, sent 20 years prior. Uh, one of that original ship's scientists, Dr. Edward Morbius, played by Walter Pidgeon, um, uh, warns them not to land for safety reasons, but C-57D does so anyway. Um, and the effects in this film are amazing. They still stand up. I think they do. Um, but uh, anyway. 
Their rescue attempts are hampered by a creature that begins killing members of the crew. The ship's commander, John J. Adams, Leslie Nielsen, back when he exclusively did serious roles. Uh, he only started doing comedy in, in, when he started doing the airplane films and stuff like that. Before that, he was a serious actor uh, and a good one. Um, unravels a mystery that involves a relic from a long perished race that heightens intellect and does much worse. The film also starred Anne Francis as the daughter of Morbius, um, Altera. Uh, a major character in the film is Robbie the Robot, the first in the sci fi film that didn't come off like a cheap tin can uh, and began. Well, I don't know, because what about. Um, oh, I forgot a bloody name now. The robot in um, Metropolis. Uh, that, that looked amazing, inspired C-3PO, but anyway. And began the trek of ai fueled robots that became staples of major sci-fi films to follow. Rob the Robot were amazing, and he guest-starred in tons of stuff. Appeared in a film after Forbidden Planet called The Invisible Boy, which was supposedly kind of a sequel to it, but wasn't really. Um, I've not seen it. I've got it on HD DVD over there. The Forbidden Planet and The Invisible Boy... Is on that and I never got around to watching it and now I don't have a HD DVD player to watch it on but never mind. Anyway, where were we? Uh, Vaughn is the Hugo and Eisner award winning comic book writer and screenwriter whose comic creations include Why the Last Man, Ex Machina, Runaways, Pride of Baghdad, Saga and Paper Girls. He also wrote on such comics as X-Men, Spider-Man and Captain America. Uh, and his TV work includes a serving as writer, story editor and producer of three seasons of Lost after being tapped by Damon Lindelof. Uh, Vaughn was then... Han uh, by the way, the only episode of Lost I've seen is the pilot episode and I didn't watch any more after that. Uh, Vaughn, I think it's just popped up on Netflix in the UK as Lost. Maybe I should give it another go, if I get time. Uh, Vaughn was then handpicked by Steven Spielberg to adapt Stephen King's novel Under the Dome. Uh, he has the sci-fi bona fides. Um, I think I started watching Under the Dome. That was interesting. Um, but I, don't, I can't remember if I watched it all. But anyway. Uh, it's about like a, a small town that gets... A dome just appears around. It's kind of like Midwich Cuckoo's ish but different but anyway what's ran the film divisions of fox and paramount and her work in the sci-fi field includes i robot elite battle angel the martian maze runner and avatar this becomes the second big scale project she has set at warner brothers after the studio acquired shannon messenger's best-selling book series keeper of the lost cities for her to produce her vaughn is ripped by uta and is that it oh right so what's about this revisionist stuff it's not telling us, is it? Um, it doesn't mention it in the article. It just says it there. Revisionist version. So is there another article somewhere that's uh, given us more clues about this? I don't know. But when they say revisionist, that, that sets off alarm bells, doesn't it? Uh, especially when the writer has done stuff like Why the Last Man and uh, Ex Machina, uh, which I didn't like. The film. I don't know about the comic, but anyway. Um... I get the feeling that it's going to be the the the, the hero is going to be a woman, isn't it? <laughs> it's, they're going to change it out. It's not going to be the men coming to the rescue of you know the the damsel in distress Altera. It's going to be the other way around, isn't it? She ain't going to need no man to rescue her and all that stuff. That's what it's going to be. So to be honest, I don't know. I've um, I've got my doubts. I'm pressing X to doubt. Is it X to doubt? Or is it B? Can't remember. Whatever. Um, I'm pressing the doubt button. Um, I do, which I do generally with all remakes, particularly of classic material. But anyway, you never know. They might surprise us. They might surprise us. Forbidden Planet is an amazing film, and it doesn't really need a remake. Um, but if they do it well, fine. And stick to the source material. Of Forbidden Planet, not The Tempest. Um, but I wonder how they'll do Robbie the Robot. I can't imagine it'll be... I imagine it'll be all CG and all that stuff. I can't imagine it'll be a, an actual suit. Or it could be an actual suit, you know, um, enhanced with CG. I bet it is. It'll be like the robot in Lost in... The Netflix Lost in Space. Because the robot in Lost in Space were essentially based on Robbie the Robot. Robbie the Robot, Robbie the robot even appeared... In the 60s, lost in space, didn't it? But anyway, I'm rambling again. But uh, 
Anyway, so there we go. Uh, but I did like iRobot, and I did like um, that other film, Elite Battle Angel, and, and what else has she done? I forgot what it said. I wasn't a big fan of The Marsh, and people rave about that, and I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, Maze Run, I've seen the first one, I thought, yeah, we're okay, I haven't seen the others. Uh, and Avatar, I like the Avatar films, no matter what everybody says. I don't know why they make all the money they make, they're not that good. Um, which is a weird, you know, I, I think that's one of these mysteries that'll go on for eternity. Why do the Avatar films make billions and billions of dollars and then disappear? Nobody talks about them. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? They haven't become this cultural, like Star Wars and Star Trek and all, they've become these like cultural things. Avatar hasn't really, has it? But yet, every time an Avatar film comes out, it heads to the top of the <coughs> um, movie rankings. But anyway... As again, I'm rambling. Right, so we'll leave it there. New Forbidden Planet on the way. Doesn't say when. Doesn't say who's producing it. Says it's revisionist. Which uh, sets off alarm bells. <coughs> Alarms. <laughs> and all that stuff. So, right, so we'll leave it there. So, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff down there. Uh, and we'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching. And wherever you are, look after each other. And until next time, I'll see you there.